Sometimes using a lot of different indicators together in trading can be really hard. But today I'll show you something cool on TradingView. It's an advanced indicator that does the job of many indicators all at once. This means you don't have to juggle between lots of them anymore. This indicator perfectly shows potential changes in the market. I will explain this indicator in detail, and then later in the video we will go through a strategy for opening buy and sell trade by combining this indicator with another one. So without wasting any time, let's open our trading view chart. So this is what this indicator looks like when we set it on our chart. I'm going to be using a Bitcoin chart on a 15 minute time frame to explain this strategy. First of all, I will remove this indicator from the chart so I can explain its setting from the beginning. So to add this amazing indicator to the chart, first of all, we will open the indicators tab from here. We will search for the PCA risk indicator and then add this indicator to our chart, which is created by someone named Julian PH. So this is how the indicator looks like when we first add it to our chart. As you can see, it is added below the chart. If we have a closer look at the indicator, we can see this indicator has values from 0 to 100, with 50 as the center line. We can see it is oscillating above and below the center line, which is present at the 50 level. In this indicator, several commonly used indicators are applied in the calculation. As I mentioned earlier, it does the job of many indicators all at once. Let's access the settings of this indicator from here. In the Inputs tab, you can see we have a Wave Trend Indicator. Hayek and Ashi Count Indicator, if we scroll down a bit, we also have a Room Indicator, Shaft Trend Cycle Indicator, RSI, Stochastic Oscillator, the Relative Volatility Index Indicator, also known as RVI, the True Strength Index. And we are not even finished here. If we scroll down here, you can see we have Bollinger Bands, Williams Percent R, Momentum Indicator, TDE, Sequential Indicator, and we have two volume indicators and more. All of these indicators with these default settings are used in the calculation of this indicator. And then by the help of a statistical method which is called Principal Component Analysis, or PCA, it tries to reduce the number of dimensions to aggregate them in an optimal way. In other words, by the help of this method, this indicator tries to reduce the data from those indicators so we can interpret them easily but at the same time minimizing the loss of information and providing an optimal level of data for this indicator. I will not get into any more details regarding the calculations behind this indicator. If you want to learn more about this indicator, you can check the page of this indicator on TradingView, in which the author has explained all the details. Now let's see how we can interpret this indicator and how we can use it for trading. As I explained earlier, this is an oscillator that is moving in the range of 0 to 100. For easier interpretation, we will add a horizontal line at the 50 level. To add a horizontal line, we will select this tool from here and then set it at 50 level, which will be right here. By the way, you can avoid the hassle altogether by joining our Telegram group where you'll receive free buy and sell signals daily. In case if it is not set at value of 50 exactly, you can go to the settings of the line from here. And here in the coordinates tab, you can simply set it at 50. After this horizontal line is set, we will also add two more horizontal lines. The first one is going to be at the value of 80 level, which will be approximately right here. And the next one will be set at the value of 20 level. These lines will help us to easily interpret the indicators. As I said, this is a bounded oscillator, so it would be a good choice for identifying overbought and oversold conditions in the market. When the oscillator reaches to 80 level or goes beyond that, just like it did here, it shows that the asset is overbought in the market. And when the oscillator reaches 20 level or goes below that, it shows the current asset you're trading on is oversold in the market. The color changing of the indicator, which is also reflected on the candles, can also help us with these readings. When the color of the indicator becomes blue, just like it is here, it indicates that the market is oversold. And when it becomes red in color, it indicates that the market is overbought. As you know, not every overbought or oversold is a signal for reversal. There are many cases in which we just have pullbacks. And it's not always a complete reversal. So to be on the safe side, we will look for the safest signals. The safest signals are the ones that are in the current direction of the market. For example, here the market is trending downwards and we got an overbought signal. This is a higher probability signal and safer signal because they are giving us the signal to enter in the current trend of the market. Any signal that is against the trend of the market we will be considered as a false signal. Now let's focus on the center line crossover. 
Similar to other oscillators, center line crossovers also provide trading signals. When it crosses above the center line, it shows we have greater upside momentum. And when it crosses below the center line, it shows we have greater downside momentum. So when a crossing on the center line is happening, it can provide us buy and sell signals, but not all of them are suitable for trading. In short, we need to take the center line crossovers that are in the same direction with the overall trend of the market. You can use price action analysis for identifying trends, or you can also use some indicators for this purpose. So let's add another indicator to this strategy. In then indicators tab, we will search for CCIs and then add the commodity channel index to our chart. We need to change the settings of this indicator. So here we will go to the settings of the indicator. In the input section, we will change the length value to 100. After that, I will also change the color of CCI line to white in the style section of the setting of this indicator. When the CCI is below zero level, the market is trending down. And when the CCI is above zero level, the market is trending upwards. Now let's quickly go through some buy and sell trade examples using these two indicators. By the way, if you don't feel like analyzing prices yourself, you can join my free Telegram group. Here I share daily the buy and sell positions I open. The link is in the description below this video. So for a buy trade to be valid, first of all, we will wait for or main indicator to give us a bullish crossover, which happens when the price crosses and moves above the 50 level. After that, we will see if the trend is in an upwards direction or not. Here we can see the CCI is above the zero level, which means that the market is trending upwards. So our buy signal is confirmed and we can open a buy trade here. This strategy is simple yet very effective at the same time. Do you want signals like this three times a day? Then join our signals group for free buy and sell signals. Now let's go through a sell trade example. For a sell trade, we will wait for this line to go below the 50 level. Just like it did here, this is a sell signal and we will only enter a sell trade here if the market is trending downwards. Here we can see the CCI is moving below the zero level, which means the market is trending downwards and we can open a sell trade here. I hope you guys found this strategy beneficial. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.